magazine of the screen. Living glimpses of history in the making. Presented as a public service by Standard Oil Company. Bits of art, postage stamps are exhibited in Milan. Italy's president is among the visitors. The artist's design is scaled down photographically in making the engraving for the stamp. These were designed by the late Corrado Mazzana, a Roman painter. The careful penwork and precise detail of the stamps emphasize the artist's skill. His big drawings lose none of their meticulous craftsmanship, even when reduced many times. This stamp honors Galileo, the Italian astronomer, and this one commemorates St. Catherine. Details are preserved in the tiny engravings from which stamps are printed. Mazzana also designed stamps for Vatican City, and while he wasn't a famous artist, Mazzana's work is in steady demand by every Italian who writes a letter. From art in miniature to art in majestic size, and the unending pursuit of perfection is essential whether the work be large or small. At 84, Pietro Canonica's gifted hands still carve into marble qualities of firmness and determination. Marconi, the inventor of the wireless, was among kings and great statesmen who posed for Canonica. The delicate features of women have been captured as easily by his genius. Heroic proportions mark some of his work as in this equestrian statue of a king, and even slaves were his subjects. This was executed in Russia and tells the story of land slaves freed by Tsar Alexander III. Such work won Kanonika undying fame. Almost alive, aren't they? Riding out of the past is the last Tsar of Russia, Nicholas II, and his family. Nicholas asked Kanonika to execute this work at his court. And babyhood's fleeting charm lives forever.